Hey folks, this is Matt Rainwater, and today we're going to be reading Trailer Park Warlock, episode 26. Uh, leaving off from where we were last week, so Jake no longer has his collar, and seems to be turning into a vampire as far as we can tell, and uh, what has happened with the Sporter guys, you might be wondering. Well, that's what we're about to find out. Uh, so, without further ado... Here is Trailer Park Warlock, episode 26, The Missing Warlock. All right, let's get going. Let me see this pint of beer getting filled up. I thought Jake said you would be gone in the night. Yeah, man, it's whack. Guess I'm going to cut some major OT. Uh, that's short for overtime for those of y'all who might be wondering. Yo, can you ask Broface over here to stop staring? It's weirding me out. Don't mind him. He's just, uh, from California. How'd you know? I've been all over. Okay, so what's going on? Why are you wearing Jake's choker thing? It's a collar, dude. Whatever. Isn't it kind of important? I've never seen Jake take it off. Yeah, this thing's off the chain, but I'm doing Jake a favor by taking it off his hands. Please explain. Jake told me last night this thing keeps him from turning into a vampire. Sounds like an upgrade to me, am I right? <laughs> Bev is clearly pissed. Yes! So now we cut back over to uh, Jake's trailer. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. And Darla's winding up. Thoom! Wood. <laughs> that panel is so ridiculous. Just the idea of like um, Darla punched Jake so hard it set uh, his trailer off of its like uh, its bricks. Damn. Maybe that was too much. Okay, Jake. I'm gonna have to figure out what happened to your collar. And we're gonna a little close up on Jake with those sigils around his neck. <laughs> Arrgh. And then Jake <laughs> Lightning jumps around and speeds off into the bushes. Hey, lady! You ought to get your cat neutered. It did wonders for mine. Now, back to Bev's bar. Let me see the sporter guy's drinking. You mad or something? Like, hell, I'm mad. <laughs> I like this. Uh, I like that. I like that expression in Sporter Guy's face. Good job, me. Uh, anyway. Crash. Bev's chasing after him. Yo, why you gotta hate? That collar belongs to Jake. You just don't get it. I'm giving Jake freedom. You wish you could be a vampire. I'm the one dude around here who's got the guts to... Honk, whap. And his double beer hatch just sitting there. And Bev is pretty much stunned by this. Yo! I need to call Darla. Er, crash. Maybe an ambulance. Bump, bump. Jake! Jake! And Darla's left there panting. I need to call Bev. I like the way that episode ends. Um, I think that was a pretty decent job on my part in terms of storytelling. Overall, actually, I really I like this episode more than I did when I first made it. I remember when I first made it, um, I kind of felt like this episode was... I don't know, like, there wasn't a lot going on, and now I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, you know, in terms of storytelling, it's really good. I think, oftentimes when I'm writing episodes, I'm thinking about, well, how is somebody who is reading this week by week is going to feel about it? And reality is, is, like, yes, that is, that is something people will do, but there's going to be plenty of people who read it, you know, like, binge read it, right? And that's a very different experience from reading it week to week. 
and um, hopefully also, and from what I understand, there are people who also reread it, which is why I make these tracks, these commentaries, whatever you want to call them, these commentary videos so that uh, people can have that opportunity to see it from a different perspective. So anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's about all I have to say for today, at least regarding this episode. Uh, it's a very straightforward episode, right? And uh, I do enjoy all of the comedy around the Sportergeist, and we will see how this further develops, all right? Anyway, uh, until then, if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can do so. On Twitter, it's at Matt J. Rainwater. On Instagram, it's at Matthew Rainwater. And then on Patreon, it's uh, patreon.com slash Matt J. Rainwater. And uh, if you're enjoying these videos, please like and uh, give me a subscribe. And also feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the story, about my narration, uh, about how I'm doing with these videos. If there's anything that you think could improve the quality, I'd love to know. Anyway, uh, I will talk to you all again soon, and I hope you're having a good one. All right, bye.